Hello and welcome to STEM Club where we're going to make some really awesome science slime today. So what you need is some white craft glue, some saline solution and you want to use, so saline solution, this is just contact lens solution but it's really important you make sure you pick a contact lens solution that has boric acid in the ingredients. So when you're getting one or if you've got some contact lens solution at home, make sure you check in the ingredients, it's got boric acid. Then you also need some bicarbonate of soda or baking powder, and some paint. And you also might like a plastic bag or some plastic gloves to play with your slime. And you also need a pot and something to stir it with. This is a super easy science experiment to do at home and I'm gonna explain all the polymer science after we've done it. So start by putting some glue in your pot. Then you can add a little bit of paint or food coloring to help color your slime. Then add a little bit of bicarbonate of soda or baking powder too. Then you want to give everything a really good mix. Show you. So as you can see at the moment, it is really runny. So that is not like slime at all. When you add your saline solution or contact lens solution, just add a little bit at a time and keep stirring. And you'll already see how it's starting to clump together. Ah! So you can already see the difference in our slime now, just with a little bit of contact lens solution added. This is so cool. Now what's fun with this is keep mixing and mixing and mixing to get all of that solution added. Wow, you can see the difference already. This is so cool. I'm just going to add a little bit more contact lens solution and then, oh my gosh, ah, so fun. This is a really cool science. Once you've made your slime, you could think about some tests you could do on it. What tests can you think of? You could see how far you could stretch it. You could see if you could snap it. Or you could see what happens if you hit it. Now don't forget not to touch your slime with your hands. So I would either put gloves on or you could put it in a plastic bag and then play with it that way. To explain the science behind this, we want to zoom in really, really, really close on our glue. White glue is made from polyvinyl acetate, which some people shorten to PVA, but it just means polyvinyl acetate. So it's made from polymers. That's where the word poly comes from at the start. A monomer is like one molecule. So there's just one molecule in a monomer. And a polymer then is a big, long chain of lots and lots of monomers all joined together. So imagine you were to zoom in really closely on your glue and you could see all of these big, long, long molecules that are called polymers. And that is what the glue is made from. So you can imagine all of these units that are stuck together and make these big, long chains. If we were to zoom out a bit, so we can't see the individual little monomers anymore, but we can just see the chains of polymers. So imagine each one of these bits of string is like one of the polymers of our glue. And you can see, if I try and pull up my glue, it kind of behaves a bit like the glue was. You can see it dropping back down and it's very, very runny, just like our glue is. What did we add to our glue to stop it being so runny? Well, we added boric acid. That was what was in our contact lens solution, in our saline solution. And you can imagine boric acid is a bit like these little bits of Velcro I've got. So I'm going to clop those in and give it a stir around. And now look what happens. Oh, already my slime has started to clump together. And that's what's happening with the boric acid. I could add a little bit more boric acid because it's still a little bit runny and give that a good stir in. And you can see now all the polymer chains are clumping together. And that's what happens. The boric acid forms what are called cross links across the polymers. So it helps it clump together a bit more and so you don't have as runny a glue, and that's how your slime works. Isn't that amazing? Challenge yourself to find out more. Why not try different solutions to see if they work? If you've got different contact lens solutions, you could try that. You could also try different amounts of the solution that you add, 
or different amounts of bicarbonate of soda. Does it make a difference if we don't add that? Does it make a difference if you use baking powder instead? And then how could you measure your results? You could see how runny your slime is or how stretchy it is. If I add lots of boric acid, in it goes, and I give it a good stir around, you can see what's happened to my glue now. It is one solid lump. Do you think that would happen if you tried it? This is a slime where I added lots of boric acid. So you can see it's just one solid lump, just like our model shows. Thank you so much for joining me for an amazing STEM club. I'd love to see how your slime making goes. So follow the link below to come to our Facebook group for Twinkle Home Educators, where you can share your results in our STEM club. And we look forward to seeing you next week for more STEM fun.